Vargas Genius Tutorials Session 3 Thread Turning for Beginners Welcome to the Vargas Genius Video Tutorials. Once you log in to the Vargas Genius, choose either a thread turning or a thread milling application. Today's session will focus on the basics of using the Vargas Genius for thread turning. For our session on thread milling applications, click the links shown on the screen or go to our website www.vargas.com. Now let's continue. Click the Turning TT Gen button. We begin by defining the application by selecting the thread type and feed direction from the list, which includes all the combinations for external or internal, right hand or left hand, and towards or from the chuck. The preview pane on the right side of the screen shows your selection. In this session, we select external right towards chuck. Then, choose one of the 30 thread standards available in the Vargas catalog offering. We select isometric. We then choose the pitch for our application. We select 1.5 millimeters, which is one of the most common pitches in the market. We are now instructed to choose the number of starts. We will select one start. Next, we need to select the DO, which is the outside diameter of the thread, also called the nominal thread size. Choose the required diameter from the list, which is defined by the ISO standard. Alternatively, type in any custom diameter. In this session, we will select M10 by 1.5 coarse thread. Then type in the length of the thread. In this example, the thread is 20 millimeters. Now select the material of the workpiece. You can view the material description on the right side of the screen. Click the different colored tabs, P, M, K, N, S, H, to view each material group. For this selection, choose the material either from the drop down list or from the preview pane on the right. Let's select M13 Stainless Steel Austenitic, one of the popular stainless steel material groups, which also includes Stainless Steel 316 and 304. The Genius now provides you with the entire range of insert and holder combinations available as Vargas standard catalog items. In this example, there are a total of 399 tool combinations. Preview each tooling combination and dimensions in the preview pane by moving your mouse over the list of tools. The filtering function is easy and user-friendly in the Vargas Genius. With just a few clicks, you can pinpoint your selection and determine the most appropriate tools for your application. Feel free to use just a few or all of these filters in any combination. Let's review the different types of filters. The first filter is the thread profile. Choose either full or partial profile. We will choose full profile. Next is the insert style to select one of the different Vargas insert styles. We will select standard. Then we will select the chip breaker type and in this case select regular. Note that we used three filters to easily drill down the offering from 399 tooling combinations to 37. Next is the coolant bore. For this example, we will select a holder with coolant bore. For the holder family, we will select standard with cooling channels. The next filter is insert size. Note that due to the filters we already activated, the only available option is 3 8 For shank, we can use the filter or simply select one of the four remaining items from the list. We will select shank size 20 millimeters. The information on the insert, holder, and anvil is available in the preview pane. Here you can also see the different pictures of the tools and all relevant spare parts. 
Next is the machining menu. First, select the infeed method. Vargas recommends using the modified flank method. In the next field, we can change the modified flank relief angle. We will accept the Vargas recommendation of two degrees. Now, choose from the available grades for the insert selected. In this case, we have four available grades. We will select VM7, which is the preferred grade for stainless steel materials. The cutting speed and RPM are then presented. The default value for the cutting speed is the minimum speed of a recommended range, which can be seen in the preview pane. Change the cutting speed and the RPM will be calculated automatically. You can also modify the RPM and the cutting speed will change accordingly. We will change the cutting speed to 120. In the type of passes field, there are three options available, constant depth, constant volume, and modified volume. We recommend choosing modified volume, which decreases the depth of the first chip to reduce the load of the first pass. The remaining passes are machined at constant volume. For number of passes, the default option provided is the maximum number of passes. You can change it to any number you like. We will select eight passes. Choose whether you require a super finish, also known as zero cut, where the tool repeats the last pass. Click OK to advance. Next is extra depth, which we will skip by clicking OK. Once we click OK, the software automatically calculates the machining time. You can then review the data summary based on the parameters you selected, plus the genius calculated data. You can now email the summary from the software. This concludes the session on thread turning for beginners with the Vargas Genius. We encourage you to view additional tutorials in the Genius series. Thank you for joining us today. Like our videos and subscribe to our channel.